Hey there! Ever wondered why some men, despite being quiet and introverted, seem to radiate an irresistible aura of mystery and allure? Welcome to the world of Sigma males. In this intriguing universe, we find men who defy the conventional alpha and beta classifications. The Sigma males, akin to the elusive enigma they are, prefer to exist outside the social hierarchy. They're the lone wolves, the introverts, the ones who march to the beat of their own drum. But don't mistake their silence for weakness. In silence, they're observing, strategizing, and navigating their life journeys with a quiet resilience and fierce independence. They don't need the limelight to validate their worth, nor do they seek approval from the crowd. Instead, they draw their strength from their self-reliance, their resourcefulness, and their unyielding resolve to remain true to themselves. So now that we've piqued your interest, let's dive into the dark truth about these lone wolves. To truly understand Sigma males, we need to crack their code. And no, we're not talking about the Da Vinci Code here, folks. Let's dive deep into the characteristics of Sigma males. Picture Sherlock Holmes, the world's greatest detective, and Dr. House, the brilliant but unconventional medical genius. These are the poster boys of Sigma masculinity. They aren't just introverts, they're self-sufficient, independent thinkers who prefer their own company over the hustle and bustle of social circles. Sigma males are like the cats of the human world. They're independent, low-key, and have an air of mystery about them. They don't need constant validation or attention to feel good about themselves. Their self-esteem is not tied to their social status or how many friends they have on Facebook. They are content with their own company and their own thoughts. They are also highly adaptable. Throw a Sigma male into a new environment, and he'll land on his feet. They're like chameleons, able to blend into any social setting while still maintaining their unique identity. They don't conform to societal norms, but rather they dance to the beat of their own drum. Sigma males are also highly intellectual. They love to learn and are constantly seeking knowledge. They're the ones who'd rather spend a Saturday night curled up with a good book or engrossed in a documentary than at a crowded party. And let's not forget their mysterious allure. There's something intriguing about a person who doesn't reveal all their cards at once. Sigma males are like a complex puzzle that takes time to solve, adding to their magnetic charm. But being a Sigma male isn't all about being aloof and mysterious. They're also deeply empathetic. They may not wear their hearts on their sleeves, but that doesn't mean they can't understand or share the feelings of others. So you see, Sigma males are not just introverts with a fancy title, they're a breed apart. Now comes the million dollar question. Are Sigma males born or made? Or is it some kind of secret club we didn't get invited to? Welcome to the debate that has puzzled philosophers, psychologists, and late-night talk show hosts alike, nature versus nurture. It's like the chicken and the egg conundrum, but with more personality types and fewer feathers. Are Sigma males, the lone wolves of the social hierarchy, naturally born with their unique traits? Or are they forged in the fires of life's trials and tribulations? Now, imagine a newborn baby. Cute, right? But does this little bundle of joy already possess the qualities of a Sigma male? Is there a mysterious Sigma gene that makes some people prefer solitude, independent thinking, and let's face it, probably black coffee? Or is it all about upbringing and experiences? Picture this. A child grows up in a busy household, always in the shadow of his extroverted siblings. He learns to enjoy his own company, to think independently, to carve his own path. Fast forward a few years and voila, we have a Sigma male. It's a compelling story, isn't it? But is it the truth? Perhaps it's a bit of both. Maybe the Sigma male is born with a predisposition towards solitude and self-sufficiency. Then, as they navigate through life, these tendencies are reinforced and honed by their experiences. It's like the perfect recipe for creating a Sigma male. A pinch of nature, a dash of nurture, and a whole lot of mystery. But let's not forget the most important ingredient, choice. Sigma males choose to live life on their own terms, to think for themselves, to step away from the crowd. Whether this choice is guided by their genes or their experiences, well, that's a debate for another day. So, are Sigma males born or made? The answer, my friends, is a tantalizing maybe. The mystery of the Sigma male continues to intrigue and confound us. 
Whether they're born this way or shaped by their experiences, one thing's for sure, Sigma males are here to stay. Being a Sigma male sounds pretty cool, right? But hold your horses, it's not all rainbows and unicorns. Let's dive into the pros and cons of this intriguing personality type. On the sunny side of the street, Sigma males are independent thinkers who don't need the approval of others to feel validated. They're the lone wolves of the personality spectrum, comfortable in their own skin and their own company. Picture it like this. While others are busy trying to fit into a jigsaw puzzle, the Sigma male is over there creating his own game. Now that's a level of self-reliance that would make even a cactus blush. They also possess a mysterious allure that can be quite magnetic. Their quiet confidence and self-contained nature can leave others intrigued and drawn to them. It's like they're walking around with an invisible do not disturb sign that paradoxically screams, disturb me, I'm interesting. Now, let's flip the coin. Every rose has its thorns, and the Sigma male is no exception. One of the major downsides is their tendency to be misunderstood. Their reserved nature can sometimes be mistaken for aloofness or arrogance. It's like they're speaking a language only they understand, Sigma nays, if you will. And while their self-reliance is admirable, it can also lead to isolation. Sometimes they can become so comfortable in their own company that they neglect the importance of social interaction. It's like being stranded on a deserted island, but the island is a metaphor for their own mind. Lastly, they can struggle with expressing their emotions, which can lead to communication issues. You know the saying, it's like getting blood from a stone? Well, try getting an emotional confession out of a Sigma male. It's like trying to squeeze juice from a rock. So it seems being a Sigma male is a bit like being a superhero. It comes with great power, but also great responsibility. Now that we've got the basics covered, it's time to unveil the dark truth about Sigma males. Picture this. The Sigma male is the lone wolf, the silent observer, the man who walks to the beat of his own drum. He doesn't need the validation of the crowd, he validates himself. But there's a flip side to this coin. You see, being a Sigma male isn't all about riding off into the sunset with the wind in your hair. It's not about being the mysterious stranger who walks into a room and leaves everyone wondering, who was that guy? No, being a Sigma male has its fair share of challenges. It's like being a superhero with a secret identity. You have this immense power within you, but you can't reveal it to the world. You can't let people in, you can't let them see the real you. But why? Because society has a way of boxing us in, of forcing us to conform to its standards. And this is where the dark truth about Sigma males comes into play, you see. Sigma males aren't immune to the pressures of society. They feel the weight of expectation, the burden of fitting in. They may be independent thinkers, but they're still human. They have their insecurities, their fears, their doubts. They may not show it, but they feel it. They feel it every time they choose solitude over companionship, every time they choose their own path over the road most traveled. But here's the thing. Sigma males aren't born, they're made. They're shaped by their experiences, molded by their struggles. They're a product of both nature and nurture. And this is their dark truth. It's not a curse, it's not a burden. It's a badge of honor, a mark of their resilience, a testament to their strength. So there you have it, folks. The dark truth about Sigma males. They're just like us, but with a little extra mystery and a lot less small talk. All right, folks. It's time to wrap up our journey into the enigmatic world of Sigma males. We've delved deep into the mysterious realm of these lone wolves. We've cracked the Sigma code, wrestled with the nature versus nurture debate, weighed the pros and cons, and unveiled the dark truth lurking beneath the surface. Remember our friend, the introverted, independent, and self-sufficient Sigma, who prefers his own company to the hustle and bustle of the alpha-dominated crowd, Yes, that's the guy who doesn't need validation from society, but creates his own rules and follows his own path. And let's not forget, it's not all gloom and doom. Our Sigma friends also have their lighter side. They might not be the life of the party, but they sure know how to enjoy a good book or a solitary walk in the park. So the next time you see a quiet, mysterious man in the corner, don't be quick to judge. He might just be a Sigma male living in his own world and loving it. 
Now it's your turn to join the conversation. Share your thoughts on Sigma males in the comments below. And don't forget to explore more videos on personality types and human behavior. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the mysteries of the human psyche.